Hello friends, I'm Jerry Rosa here in my uh, machine shop. I'm not, not in the uh, instrument shop today, I'm down here in my metal shop. And uh, I'm making gears and I've had this brainstorm to make four gears at one time because I'm making a 72 tooth gear and if you make four gears which is what I need then you'd have to do 72 operations four times so I'm gonna do this 72 operations one time I think and this is what I'm doing I'll show you how I've got this set up I'm on my lathe mill it's a Grizzly uh, 9729 I believe is the number yep 9729 G9729 lathe mill combo and uh, you can see what I have here is a uh, um, a gear cutter. I made this mandrel for it, and uh, there it's a one inch hole in the gear cutter, and I've got a one inch uh, oh uh, turn down spot on there. I forget what you'd call that, a shoulder, I guess. And then I put a fine threaded uh, three quarter. Well, it's a half inch bolt of fine thread uh, with a three quarter uh, head on it and tighten that down real tight and I'm just cutting aluminum so it's not too bad if you can see in the video I'm not so sure you can but I'll zoom in a little bit more maybe you can see the teeth have already been cut if it'll focus there it is and uh, you can see I've got most of the teeth cut I've still got this section here to cut and so I'll back out a little bit here and show you how I'm doing that. Okay, what I'm doing is uh, I've got a little tiny uh, grizzly four inch rotary table back here. Um, I don't think you can see that real well, so let me zoom out a little bit more. Uh, it's got a, a crank here and there's a dial and I'm reading this dial and every five degrees I'm cutting a tooth and that equates to five you know 360 divided by five is 72 teeth and so that's how I'm working this out there's a little backlash in this so I am making sure I only turn it one direction and I'm making sure that I don't go past my five and my zero mark so every five degrees I uh, you know cut a tooth so here's how we do that and I, I'm what I'm doing also is I'm having the lathe move the table through uh, so I've got the lathe part running in reverse I took the jaws out of the lathe here so they wouldn't be in the way and I have the the drill press which is a you know it's a, a mill but it's just a glorified drill press is all it really is I have the mill turning forwards so uh, let me get her all set up here. We'll turn the mill on. See it's spin, spinning up pretty fast. Don't know how well you're going to hear me from this point on, so I'm just going to quit talking and just do the operation. I'm going to turn the uh, lathe on in reverse so that it'll feed the carriage this direction.
once in a while things work out good and as you could tell there the last tooth lined up exactly with the first one so her uh, the last cutter I guess you'd say lined up with the uh, first groove when I uh, got it all the way back around there and uh, so it looks like it made a pretty darn good set of gears now I made four of them uh, I'm gonna be able to separate these on the lathe I hope and uh, turn them into four gears this is approximately what I'm making uh, you'll see there's a, a shoulder on this gear and this one has a keyway I won't have a keyway I'll just drill a hole and put a set screw on it um, what I'm doing is just a hand cranked little machine that I'm building as a matter of fact I'll show you what I'm building I'll turn the camera the other way and uh, what I'm actually going to build is a replacement for this little gizmo that I built years ago. And this little gizmo is this thing here. And you think, now what in the world is that? And I'll just give you a clue. It goes around, this goes around in a circle like this. And you can see how everything rotates. Well, I'm going to put gears on this and make this rotate much easier. And uh, this is the other part of the contraption. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. Most of, some of you will already know what it is just by looking at it. And, uh, but I'm going to make a new and improved version with gears and uh, show you how that operates. We'll put that in another video later. So I'm not going to give it away. If you happen to know what this is, uh, you can put it in the comments if you want. Uh, please uh, subscribe to uh, my channel. Uh, click the thumbs up button. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Here's what it turned out like. You can see I have a little shoulder built on the first gear already. And my hope is that I'll be able to turn this down on the lathe. I'll mount this end in the chuck, put the live center in this end, uh, and then just part them off basically and part them off and leave a shoulder on part of it. Anyway, that's the plan. I hope it works. Haven't tried this before, so we'll, we'll see. Of course, it's going to be kind of an interrupted sounding cut with all these teeth on here, at least at the beginning. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Well, I thought I'd show you what the completed gears look like. Here's what they uh, turned out like. I uh, separated them as uh, you saw how I had them all together. And so basically I just took my parting tool and ran into these and cut the shoulders and uh, they're not perfect uh, they're not you know I mean they're pretty close uh, they're all very close to a one inch shoulder here uh, within a few thousands but I it's not really that critical so I didn't worry about that and they're all within a thousandth or two or a few thousandths on the thickness of the gear again that's not crazy critical for the machine on that that I'm building um, again I'm not going to tell you what that machine is I showed you what that uh, uh, thing look like and uh, you can make your guesses and uh, I, when I get the machine finished I'll uh, do a little short video on that also but anyway that's what the gears look like uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, this video please click the uh, so <coughs> excuse me please click the thumbs up button and also click the subscribe button and tell your friends thanks